Hey guys, welcome to Frost and Fist. I am Freak, and the guy behind the camera is your lovable hug Wolf Brother Mythos. Hey guys, we are here to do a another kill team. Uh, uh, it's already late, guys. I'm already tired, but another uh, kill team uh, battle rep. So it's going to be fun. This time is going to be the Fist against Imperial Guard, and I am Ethan. Ethan is an awesome fella. He hangs around here with us here at uh, uh, Swords and Superheroes, where we always do our gaming. So if you're ever close by here by around Houston area, come by and see us and have a game or two. So anyway, uh, Ethan, why don't you tell us what you got going on? I am running two veteran squads. One is armed with a Melta, and the other is armed with a Heavy Flamer. And then a squad of Rattlings. And then the Mel the Melta is going to outflank with four other guardsmen. All right. Now for me, I am bringing, I am taking the uh, Dreadnought. Um, he's kind of mixed and match, hodgepodge kind of thing. He's definitely going to have the Power Fist. Underneath is going to have the Bolter. Um, he is taking a uh, multi Melta, um, and. Uh, I am also taking a squad of scouts, all with sniper rifles, uh, and they're going to be uh, in the minivan. So they're going to be hopping along in um, the land speeder storm uh, to get to where they need to get to right away. So um, this is deployment. I've never played with such a small amount of points, so it's going to be interesting. So we'll see what happens. So, Oh, that's right. We're going to roll the seize, uh, seize initiative here. And you won the initiative, right? So we'll see if we do it. Here we go. Oh. All righty. So for Imperial Guard turn one, I just had my guardsmen move up a little bit. The snipers take, taking aim at the only thing on the Space Marine side of the table I can wound. <laughs> All shot at the land, <laughs> land speeder. One shot hit and actually wounded, but it, the fist jinked and it was a miss, or, and they made the cover save. The other two shots just bounced off. All right, so it's now the fist turn. Uh, bottom of round, or turn one. Okay, guys, freak here. All right, this is what's going on. Um, I started moving my, uh, my guys up, first of all. All right, so turn one. Moved the full 12 inches to uh, gain access to the tower. And as you can see, I got two guys standing right in there, just daring the Imperial Guards to come near them. Uh, we did make some attempts at firing, uh, of course, because they had to jink. Um, because of um, uh, incoming fire, of course, they were able to make it, but un uh, we had to do some snap firing, and unfortunately, they were all uh, misses. Um, so all of my scouts uh, shot, but they really could not hit anything. But my Dreadnought, uh, he, he was able to um, take out some... Uh, sh uh, what? Yeah, he was able to take one guy out, um, was looking for the, <laughs> but this guy here, like a roach, you stomp on him and he just pops right back up and he shrugged off every hit that I sent his way. So, uh, for now, what is, how is the scoring goes for the kill team? Because this is brand new to me. Okay. One point so far. All right. Uh, so we'll see. We are going to jump on to the top of turn two. Ethan's turn. Let's see what happens. So, Imperial Guard, turn two. It was... Got some shots in, man. It was hit or miss. So, I promptly set these two scouts on fire. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> One luckily survived. Most of my shooting was either I missed or the shots that went through 
killed, as you can see. So one of the flashlights took out the scout over here. And then my sniper over here, my rattling sniper over here picked off one of the scouts on top of the building. So I'm not too worried going into this game as I was when we started. <laughs> That, my friends, was trash talk. That's right. Freak here, and I love this song. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. That actually came on the moment, <laughs> the moment we started recording. Anyway, so far, a pretty good turn for the fists. Um, just about everybody hit and uh, land a target, except for this guy. That guy right there, for some reason, refuses to go down. I told you. <laughs> and his prayers have been answered for now. For now. So we still maintain the objective. We are still king of the hill at the moment, but uh, just about everyone, the snipers, uh, the land speeder storm have uh, hit their targets, but the dreadnought, for some reason, is, ha is having some trouble either pulling the trigger or remembering where it was. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. We may have to have a uh, little talk with him. By the way, we had to roll a morale check because the majority, we, I lost three of my scouts. So, of course, we had to uh, roll um, morale on those guys to see if they were going to stick it in. They have. They're going to stick it in. They're going to continue to fight. Um, what's that? Point for Ethan. So, we are tied. What is the score, Ethan? Do we know? 1-1, isn't it? Yeah, it is. 1-1. Okay. So, anyway. So we'll see what happens. We're going now to the top of round three. Let's see if Ethan pulls it out. And top of turn three for the Imperial Guard. Oh, uh, we sent out, or we finished off the last two scouts. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> my my guardsmen there have secured the <laughs> secured the objective. That's desecration. <laughs> but there's two vehicles left, and I don't have much that can wound them. So we'll see how the rest of this game goes. <sighs> this is hurting me. We'll see. Sounded so wrong. All right, guys. Freaking Ethan here, and that was a good game. We have to end it early because the owner needs to sleep. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna head out of here. But we had a very good game. Uh, very good. The fist lost. Uh, but, I mean, look at the board. Look how many. This is a numbers game, guys. And the cool thing about kills, uh, the kill team uh, is that it, anything goes. Anything can happen. Anything can change at the dime. And I was so – he could not capitalize at all. I thought that Dreadnought was going to kill way more than it actually did. I was hoping a Dreadnought will kill more than what it did. And it just did not. It just could not do any anything for me. So – and it was a missed everything, and then the guardsmen were tanking storm bolters. Yeah, and they were taking. They were like, "Oh, come on, we can take you." Hey, you know what? Good game. And unfortunately, we we uh, we ended at the what? We're at the top of the fourth. Bottom. Bottom of the fourth. Yeah. Okay. So it's two to one, and uh, hey, the Imperial Guards win. Good job. If you Good game, sir. To me, I'll <laughs> take it. All right. So until next time, guys. Stay frosty. <laughs>